This is the first voice recording I'm doing into my phone. I'm meant to act as an extension of my inner thoughts. So moving out in two days, I'm gonna start my videography business and I'm entering my final year of university. And I'm feeling pretty alone, to be honest. I don't really have any friends in London anymore, so I guess I gotta do all of this by myself. Which is okay, because um, I'm pretty used to that by now. The boy moves his life out of his house and up to London, ready to ignite the fire below him. He had no idea how bright it would actually burn. Still feels a bit weird doing these voice notes, but I always feel after I've done one, it actually helps clear my head a little bit. So, university is boring, but fine. Not interested in my course anymore, but the work's not that hard, so. On the content creation side of things, it's a bit overwhelming. And I know that sounds dumb, right? Because when you start a business, you think that the best thing that can happen is everyone wants to work with you and you get loads of clients, right? Welcome to the EE voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you call <clears throat> is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Hi, Manny. Uh, it's Zach here. I've reached out about content creation. I'm just giving you a call. So this is my number. So just give me a call back today uh, and I'm free all day to talk about what kind of content that you need. Um, it's overwhelming. All right, thank you. I've never done this before and I'm completely alone. It's just a lot. I have imposter syndrome, so yeah, that's where I'm at. The boy was drowning in work, making social media adverts, writing essays for university, and dealing with brands. But dealing with brands is like dealing with children. No one ever mentions that. How long could he continue before burning out? my old neighborhood at my mum's house because I had to film some product videos out here but I'm actually feeling good <laughs> and everything is kind of falling into place a little bit more it's so fast-paced I feel like I'm moving at a hundred miles an hour and keeping track of pieces flying through the air but it's nice to be home because it's calmer here I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying it a lot and I feel like I'm learning how to move at this speed. She hopped on a graze, that's a problem. Her old man, probably a problem. A big bro to time in Chelsea. The boy was moving faster and faster, teaching himself the skills to survive. He began isolating himself from others, prioritizing money above everything. His life in London was addictive, but money comes at a price. I've been creating UGC content for a month and a half it's going well like i've got pretty good at it my process is is swift it's efficient uh, i'm making money every single week consistently and um the thing is it's not what i actually want to be doing right i don't want to create ads for other people but this this particular brand they want me to take over their entire social media with the guy i'm working with obviously and I pitched them £1,000 a month, which would be insane, right? Like, it's a bit of a fever dream because £1,000 a month for just making videos. Like, I've been doing this for a year for free. It's going really well. But, like, I'm not happy about it at the same time. The boy increased his client list, refusing to listen to his heart. He poured his creative energy into other people's dreams. He created a campaign for a clothing brand and worked hard for everyone but himself. Inside he was crumbling, but on the outside he remained composed and diligent. He challenged himself again creating a music video for a musician. His work was acting as a catalyst, pulling in more and more opportunities. Impossible to deny, but draining his every fiber. Something had to give. He was drowning in expectation. Being a business owner is different to what I expected. You're on all the time. I just felt a bit weird the last couple of days. I think it's got something to do with the winter in the UK and I'm spending a lot of time by myself and I'm just kind of tired to be honest. Um, I just kind of reminded myself that I have to go and spend time with friends. Meal ticket, ticket, meal ticket, ticket, come up, uh, still in my little real niggas in my condom, uh, feel here.
spending time with people and socializing with others is so important and I'm really bad at being part of a group well, it kind of like heals you there's a reason that humans are social creatures like we rely on others micro emotions and pheromones and reactions and it kind of shows us how we should feel in a situation and if I hang out with my friends in London and have a nice evening it kind of shows me that I should calm down the boy had hit a crossroad He'd listened to the world around him, that men were providers, that their value is based upon their usefulness, and without that, they're at the bottom of society. No safety net. He didn't seem to understand, if he was doing the right things, why was he miserable? No matter what, no matter the views, no matter the cash, no matter how busy I get, the fundamental of my entire life is these two words. As long as I do this, I will never fail. Yeah, keep those fiction raps. If I come through with a pen, that's a different whack. Man wanna talk about money, but I wouldn't put money on that. Man wanna talk about flows, but they know that my team's tap. I'm a bit lost at the moment. Like I'm making all these videos for other people, but I'm not doing anything for myself. And I kind of forgot like what I was doing in the first place. Like I was making these films. Like the whole reason I joined the YouTube New Wave was to make slow, meaningful content. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck am I doing? I've just like completely lost myself in trying to go like viral. And I think that I'm coming to this point in my stuff where I'm slowly realizing that making stuff I want to make is more important than views. Which sounds so stupid, right? Like that, sh of course, right? Of course, making stuff I want to make should be more important than views, but it's so easy to just get caught up on the views because you know, it's external validation and I'm just constantly chasing that like every like I get is a dopamine boost into my brain and it's like people like me it's kind of like feeding into when I was like insecure fat little Asian kid with sweaty palms and no one liked me like my inner child is just like ah everybody like me so I'm creating this weird viral content where making me feel good but if I make stuff I want to make, eventually I will find the right audience and the right people will watch it and then everybody's happy. Yeah. That was fuck man. I could really I'm really like I've got really comfortable venting to the camera and like really comfortable venting to my audience, which is it's kind of a new thing for me. I'm really just being myself now. Instead of any fake personality. I hope you can pick up on that kind of. The boy felt his mind wandering. He'd escaped into nature and cut off responsibility. His childhood fantasies of becoming wealthy and the internal happiness he'd thought this would bring had been crumpled up and destroyed. He'd found solace in those around him and happiness in the pursuit of passion. He'd realized a wealthy man is not necessarily a smart man. In fact, he couldn't recall a wealthy man he'd met who seemed content. Perhaps the smartest men realized a long time ago, riches in happiness is far more valuable.